hello welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be teaching you how to create website using wordpress and divi so let's get started first of all let's see the website we want to create so the website we are creating will look exactly like this so you see it has the slider page where you have different slides it has the slider on the home page then i have another section what we do yes I have uh, sections like this, then why choose us, then I have the footer section. Now on the menu page you can see our menu, home services, publications, we also have drop down menu, under publications we have books, paper, under lectures we have uh, lectures and blog, we have videos. So let's take a look at the videos. The video page will look like this, it is loading. So we are just going through what we are going to create from the scratch. So as beautiful as this website is, in the next few minutes, you will learn how to create it yourself. Okay, this is the video page. So you can have uh, videos on your, page, on your website. Like this one, I say how to create YouTube channel is on my video page. How to create Gmail, this and that. So this is the video page. Then I also have the contact page. So it is opening. Okay, it has opened. Contact us. So I have forms here. You can fill form. That's, those that visit your site can fill form. Then they also have your address here. So these are what we are going to be doing in a few moments from now. So I think we are going to get started. We'll start with the home page. Now, make um, the, the website we are creating, we are using what WordPress is actually a content management system software which can be used to create stunning websites without coding. So let's get started. Um, okay, in creating a WordPress, what, there are two things you need. One, you need a ZAMP uh, uh, server. Then you also need WordPress. You need a server. It could be ZAMP, it could be WAMP or any other server. But in this tutorial, we are going to use uh, ZAMP. So what you do, you visit uh, www.apachefriends.org. You visit this website, and in that website, you'll be able to download ZAMP free of charge. ZAMP is an open source software, so you don't have to pay for it. So if you finish downloading it, then you start installation. There are ZAMP for 32-bit, there are some for 64-bit. So you download the one appropriate for your system. After you've installed ZAMP, this is what you are going to see on your system. So having said that, let's go to WordPress. So to download WordPress, visit uh, wordpress.org. WordPress.org. You download it and you are going to get a zipped file. So what you are going to get for WordPress is going to be something like this take note it must be a zipped file then to get started what we we'll do is this you go and open ZAMP so double click on ZAMP I have it on my desktop then when you double click you come here we are using Apache and MySQL at least for now so you click on start and you click on start for this so you make sure they are running if, if you started it it will be showing you stop here so so now that they are running, you can minimize and get uh, move on. So what you are going to do is this. You will create a database first. You create a database because in, create, in, use, in creating websites with WordPress, you must have a database. So what we'll do is this. Go to your web browser. Open a web browser of your choice. You open a web browser of your choice. Okay. We are using a... We are using Google Chrome. So what you do is you type localhost, localhost slash PHP my admin. So when you type this, you press enter. Then it will open this for you. So we are creating a website. Let's say we are creating a website for school. So what you will do here, you will click on databases and you create a database for your website. So let's say we call it uh, school database let's call it school database sorry there's a mistake in the spelling okay 
So we'll call it a school database. Okay, let's just call it school DB so that yeah, school DB. Now you click on create. So it says database created. You look by your left here, you must see it. Look at this school DB. So now that you've created this, what you do next is to go to your WordPress. Yeah, you go and uh, so this is the WordPress we downloaded. So what you do is to unzip it. So you double click and say extract. Where are you extracting it to? I want to extract it to this same location, WordPress. So uh, where is it located? Inside my document, inside ICT, inside um, what again? Uh, inside ICT, inside software, look at the path here. So that's what I'm tracing. Then inside CMS, you can actually extract to any place of your choice. But permit me to extract here. So it's extracting. It's extracting. It's extracting. Okay, so it has finished extracting. I'll close. So you have WordPress here. So what you are going to do, copy this WordPress you extracted, copy it, and go to your where you installed your ZAMP. For me, I, I installed my ZAMP inside hard disk. So let me say, uh, where is my hard disk? This PC, I have my hard disk here. So inside your hard disk, you have ZAMP, depending on where you installed it. Then inside ZAMP, you have a folder called htdoc. So you open the folder and paste. Uh, yeah, you now paste the the WordPress here. So it's copying. Just be patient. It is copying. Okay, let me see something. Okay, it's copying. It's copying. Where is it? Okay, it's nine percent. Okay, 100%. Oh, where is my folder? Okay, inside htdoc. Yes, so I've succeeded in copying WordPress in here. But what I'm going to do, I will rename the WordPress folder. So I will rename it to the name of the website I'm creating. I said that I'm creating school. That's the website called school. So I have a school inside HTDoc. Take note of what we are doing. So let's now install WordPress inside this uh, folder. So what you do is you open your web browser. You now type uh, localhost localhost slash uh, the name of the the name of your folder. S C H O O L. That's school. So you press enter. Okay, so it says welcome to WordPress. Before getting started, we need information, this and that. Just click on let's go. Okay, here you will now put the name of your database. I hope you still remain, remember the name of the database. We we'll call it uh, school DB. Okay, then what is the username? The username you put here is the username of the ZAMP. Uh, the ZAMP server we are using. So the username is root and the password is empty space. So don't put anything there. The database host is localhost. You click on submit. Now it will say run the installation. You click on it. Okay, welcome. Now site title. What is the title of this website? You can put anything there. We say we are creating a a school website so let's call it uh, Dodon school so we we'll call it Dodon school you can actually call yours any name what is the username we are using to log into this uh, website let me call mine admin I will need something simple so that I won't forget so username password I choose pass as my password it is very weak but uh, let's continue with it confirm use of weak password you check it in real life you should use a password that is strong then what's your email i put my email here the email is where uh, wordpress will be sending you uh, information where necessary so you click on install wordpress 
it's loading so let's wait it is loading it's loading so once it's finished loading that means you have succeeded in uh, in installing wordpress okay success wordpress has been installed congratulations your username is admin you know your password you can actually click on this login so that you can log into your wordpress website so i click on this i put my username you remember my username admin and my password is what pass so your password is supposed to be secret so don't disclose it to people so this is what we call the back end of the wordpress website you see dashboard here the back end is where you make changes so let's uh, go to the front end or assuming let me close this assuming after creating a website now what do you do how do you now log into your website just type uh, localhost slash the name of your what uh, of your website we call that our own school so once you do that it takes you to the what uh, website it says the don school uh, just another wordpress site this and that so these are West, uh, wordpress website but we will actually we will start working on it we we'll install team will build it and make it to be a standard website then if you want to go to the back end just say local host school then wp dash admin take notes local host school wp dash admin you press enter it now takes you to the back end this is where you can make changes so at this point we have our dashboard is at this back end that you can actually make changes so without wasting time let us install team team is a, a kind of template how you want your website to look like so we are going to use the dv team dv is uh, one of the best uh, teams that you have on on the planet earth today in fact is the most widely used uh, wordpress team all over the world so we'll go to appearance and you click on team now if you want to get team just go to elegant team website and then you get it i think it's about eighty nine dollars for one year then if you want to buy it for a lifetime i think it's about two hundred and something dollars so it is a it's an investment worth making so team appearance team you say add new yeah upload team I already have mine I'm registered with uh, elegant team so I will go to where did I have it uh, inside ICT softwares okay yes so this is my DV it must be in zipped form it must be zipped so you op you open then you install now okay it has started installing so you wait patiently why it is installing you wait patiently why it is installing yeah okay it has finished installing so once it finished installing you click activate so it will activate you click to activate and then it's so you just wait a little more okay it has activated so this is the dv team so if we go back to our front end if i refresh this page now I will now see DV team. Yeah, this is DV. So congratulations, you have installed DV team. But I know this is not like the website we want to create. We wanted to have something beautiful like this. So, but we are going to translate this guy into this guy. So let's move on. Now that we have created, we have installed the team. The next thing, let's uh, create pages. We want to do exactly what we have here home services publications lectures contacts so you for you to create pages just go to your dashboard you see pages you go to all pages yes initially you have some sample pages i want to delete it so let's just trash any page you want to remove just go to it and say trash so we want to do everything from the scratch we don't want to use an already made page so sample page we also trash it okay yes yeah. so let's now click on add new 
we click on add new so that we start creating our own pages so just patiently wait it's loading okay so the first page we want to create is home so just say home and publish for now just click home and publish nothing more okay it says published then we go back and get the next page add new page add new page is loading okay we have a uh, services services publish publish okay then we are moving on okay so we we'll go back and add the next page we already have uh, okay we have uh, services here then what's the next one let's say contacts contacts so publish publish okay contact is now live we go back what do we have next what do we have next let's uh, peep here publications lectures okay so in fact let's refresh this and see if the pages we created are there already okay yeah they are there contact home services so let's go let's continue we need to add uh, more pages we have publication for example you are a lecturer you may want to have your publications on your page that would be good publications okay now we go back published okay add new uh what other page do we need lectures we have lectures we have books papers okay so let's say lectures okay we have lectures published okay add new add new we have uh, papers if you have some papers you've uh, written you've published okay we have uh, books add new you have some books you've written okay we have books we click on publish publish okay what other pages are we still looking at we want to do exactly what we have here books papers at the lectures we have lectures slash blog and then videos okay we have uh, lectures slash blog actually you can choose any uh, menu of your choice but let's just do this for for the sake of this uh, lecture slash blogs blog okay then i think uh, the last one is what is videos abby I think is video okay video yes yes videos so you may have some videos on your youtube channel you want them to also be on your website okay now let's go here so congratulations you have had a number of uh, uh, you've created all the pages that will make up your website so the next thing we'll do is that we'll need to arrange these pages. They look scattered. Maybe we want home to be the first page. We want contact to be the last. So how do we do that? Now still go to your back end and go to your dashboard. So on your dashboard, under appearance, you click on menus. You go to menus. Okay, you are going to create a menu. So you can give it any name let's say men one or whatever you call it so you click on create 
so when you have created the menu what you will do is to now add the pages what are the pages you want to be on your menu so let's say view all the pages you select you check all the pages these are the pages we created so all the pages you want to be on your on your website on your menu you select them okay you say add to menu so they will it's loading they will all appear here in a moment okay they are here so um i have all of this why am i having two home page okay this one is custom link no i don't want that let me remove this i just want everything to be what we did so now where is this so what we'll do is to arrange this menu now you can actually you just drag you drag it up this one is sorry home is number one then let's say the next one is services you take services up then the next one is uh, i think is publication then under publication you have okay this is publication i'm sorry okay now under publication okay contact is the last one let me take contact down okay then under publication we have books look let's look at what we had here publication we have uh, books we have papers so this is a sub these are sub menu under publications so what you are going to do is under publication book is a sub menu you shift it a bit like this it becomes a sub menu then you have papers you put it like this so these are sub menu then the next one we have a lecture then under lecture we have lecture and blog then we have videos so having done this yes you are good to go so having done this the next thing you will do which is very important you will say primary menu display location that's where do you want this thing to display your primary menu is the menu on the top so we want it to be on the primary menu so um so let's click on save menu so you wait for it to save it's loading it's loading so once it is saved we'll go to the front end and view the changes made okay it's taking some time okay so yeah good so we have refreshed it here so you can see home services publications lectures and all that so and as you can see all the pages are still blank nothing is inside so we are going to create them one by one so the next thing we are going to do which is very important if you you know when you open a website once you put the name of the website it is supposed to take you to the home page but uh, by default now is not taking us to the home page you, you see when we click our home page it is saying slash home which is not the right thing it should just be the name of the website so we'll go to the back end so what you will do is that you on your back end you go to settings then under setting you will see reading so under reading you will choose a static home page that you want a static home page and then your home page should be what home we said let home be our home page then your post page is just like your blog and we want it to be what was this our blog post that's uh, we call it lecture okay uh we call it what is it lecture um okay so let's call it uh, lectures or lecture slash blog okay lecture slash blog is our blog page so yes okay so you have a few other things blog per blog page show at most 10 posts so you can actually change it to any number of posts you want 
so let's move on just click on uh, save changes so once we have done this once you you now open a uh, school which is the name of our website it takes us to the home page you can see it's active now so that's good the next thing we'll do quickly is we'll start uh, we'll start creating our home page so you can see on the home page the first thing is that we have sliders we have a section that has slides so we're gonna have this so let's start with that so what you do on your back end uh, on your back end you open your pages all pages now we are working on home page so click on home page or you can click edit anyone so it is here we are going to use dv builder that's one of the good things about dv dv as a team has a builder that enables you to that enable you to build your website so just say edit with dv builder okay it's opening just patiently wait for dv builder to load so dv builder is what we are going to use to create the entire website and it will be wonderful using that it's opening just patiently wait it's opening so still remember that the first thing we want to do is to create the slider section the slide one good thing with dv is that dv has everything inside that is you don't need to go and uh, install some other plugins most 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 of the things are, are together in the dv team okay now it has loaded welcome to dv builder take a tour we don't really want to take tour we just want to start building we can't wait to start building okay it's loading it's loading so let's wait a little more to start building okay it has loaded now it's telling us start building browse layout choose page this and that uh, what we'll do is uh, let us click on start building start building is that you build from the scratch this one there's a pre-made layout this one you can clone an existing page let's do everything from the scratch you click on that now we come here to insert section insert row I want us to close this first because I want to I actually want to insert a full width section now let me tell you a few things before we go on in working with DV builder you have a uh, DV builder has section the section is the it's like the superset so you see it here this is a section then inside the section you have a row you have row so you can add new row here then inside the row you have modules you will still see it as you move on okay what i will do now is to add a new section so i click this then i select full width because i need a full width slider so i will uh okay i'll type a full width slider okay so here am i this is the full width slider and two slide two slides are already here so what I let me delete them this is delete button this is duplicate button this is uh, to uh, to 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 make it to edit it or to work on it so I delete so that will do everything from the scratch now what we'll do is add new section uh, add new slides so you click on this so as I click on it I will have my title uh, remember we are trying to replicate what we have here we are trying to replicate this so this first page we have uh, this right up so i already have a dummy text here i have a, a dummy text for all of this so what i will do is to copy and paste all this text as needed so i'll come over here okay i come over here 
so your title goes in here what is my title i wrote uh, welcome to dodon then what's the next thing the next thing is this i copy this and uh, over here over here paste okay so that is it and then remember that the button text here says uh, what was the button text we have the button text says uh, says more so I will also change this click here to more so you scroll down uh, where is it okay this is it click here you change it to more okay now the next important thing is to add the background the uh, the background image so I'll go to background I'll go to background come over here and I will add image so this is the image you want to add so uh, I click on this but if it were not here already you just click on upload go to select file and whatever image that you want you pick it from anywhere you saved it so let me see I have uh, this image which other image do we need here I have um, okay let's assume we have need of this image I open it here so but this is the one we want now so select the image you want upload so it is here so you can see it here then what other thing do we need to do to it um the other important thing you also need to do go to um go to what okay wait under content go to animation you will see something called animation where is it um sorry okay okay let's move on i will still see what i want us to do but let's move on let's leave here first okay so now that we okay so when we have more than one image there will be the animation will be active okay so now we have added one we just have one slide now then uh, is there any other thing needed now let's say no so we we'll select this okay okay so now that we have selected that we can now go here so you can choose to add new slide so let's click on add new slide so for the new slide what is the text so let's say we want to add this one we we'll provide ict solution learn more okay so what i will do is to the text will be the header text will be that we provide um ict solution okay so that's the text we need the body text we may not need it so i'm gonna delete it so we go over to the background image what is the image that we need we we'll select the image let's look for that image here if we can see it quickly we we'll pick it up if we cannot see it we we'll use another image okay this is it here so i click open okay it's loading okay it has loaded yes so you click on uh, upload an image so it will be here it's here now so that is good that is good so let's accept this first let's scroll and see so this is the first slide this is the second slide we have inserted two slides now when you've done this at each point in time you can click on the save button or you press ctrl s here so to save what you have done so far now after saving let's go to the front end you can see this is the initial thing we had we have 
so let's refresh and see what we have uh, been able to do so you can see this is uh, truly wonderful okay um, this is the first slide I'm just waiting if the second slide will come up wasting our time so we'll still go to animation and be able to adjust to make the sliding to be automatic so I'm using this arrow to do the sliding but we'll make it automatic in a while then if you look up there is a space here we don't need this space so let's quickly remove the space if you come up here there is actually a section here which we are going to delete so I'll delete this section so if I delete I press ctrl s or I press save here so I refresh I refresh okay the, uh, the space up has gone meanwhile this space if it is too large for you I will still show you how you can reduce this so uh, that is it now let's go back and add a few more slides so what other slide we have enjoyed 24 hours power supply okay so we power your house and offices so let's do this one quickly so when you want to make any change you remember this where we are i told you before now that we have this we have section then we have a module normally we are supposed to have row before module but for this full wide for for this full width section you just have your section and your module so click on this grill icon to take you back to where you can make editing where you can edit the setting so i click on this plus then uh, um, what is the write-up i need let me check my demo text did I have it here? Okay, it's not even here. So let me just uh, let me just call, uh, see it from here. We said they enjoy 24 hours. Uh, the main text here: enjoy 24 hours power supply will power your house and offices. So let's quickly put it. Um, enjoy Z capital. Anyone would do enjoy 24 hours power supply then under the ordinary text that's the body text we said uh, we power your house and uh, office okay so we've done this the next thing we we'll go to the background and add the uh, image this is for adding image remember this is for color this one is for what um, let me just see this is a gradient to add background gradient this is to add color I mean this is to add image and this is to add the video so we'll go back to image so you come to upload files you click on this then we need the image of solar panel let me pick any one i can lay my hands on so selected open so it's loading it's loading okay good so i pick up this so i pick up this i can just say okay okay so let's have this three let me save and refresh so now we have how many slides yeah we have three slides is in order okay so let's add the slide for electronic uh, design so here the this text will be electronic design okay so let's delete the text here delete it we'll delete it then let's add the background image 
the background image is what is this so select it and upload if it is not there go and pick it from wherever it is in your in your folders so once you've done that you click on okay yeah you click on this okay so we are good to go we have had this okay let us uh, set the animation so that the slides can be moving automatically on their own so what we'll do is to go to this setting so we'll go to the model setting because we are dealing with the full width uh, slider model so take note it is not the it is not the 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 it's not this very setting it's not the section setting rather it is the module setting so you click here uh, you click on design then you move down you will see animation yes so under animation uh, we'll say automatic animation click so that it will come up yes I need automatic animation then it will also ask you uh, what is the speed we want actually you can choose any speed of your choice you test if it's okay with you 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 continue with it then the next one says continue automatic slide on hover that is if you hover on a slide is it to continue uh, doing the sliding no because maybe when we hover we want to see we want it to pause so that we can see clearly what the slide is saying so we'll leave it at off so that is it about the sliding if you need any animation style you can actually put assuming you say uh, let's get something let's say roll you see it but i'm not really so interested in that so i choose none so having done that i click on this and i save then let's go and preview it so i refresh here and do the preview I refresh here and do the preview so you can let's see if it moves automatically yeah you can see we are correct so next let's see a few things we need to have done here we need to change some of the text color like this one is white I don't know if our own is also white so you can actually change the text color if you want okay here is something uh, like or a uh, golden this golden color so i will just show you how you can make changes to your text color so we may not really use exactly the color used there but just for you to understand how to make those changes so for example let's use this one as a case study we'll provide ict solution let's change the text color to golden so what we'll do is this we we'll come to our back end okay oh good enough this is where we are we we'll click on this we we'll provide ict solution so this is the slide we want to work on so what do you do you click on the gray icon it opens up so under design we we'll go to title text where is it yeah you click here okay this is our title text yeah let me scroll to where i need okay title text color i need the golden color you can see it there now yeah then the other thing i might want to do text size i can change the size can increase it you know letter spacing and all that you can actually do a whole lot of things you may want to do there I want it to be bold so title weight font weight I want it bold so you can see it so these are the things you can actually do but let's move on very quickly let's also effect the change on the on the button text so button uh, okay anyway uh, you can actually change the button text uh, the button text so let's still go back patiently you you look at the button text 
yeah the properties to to make the change you okay so let's go down so you see the button this but uh, button you click on this then uh, use custom button style okay so you select uh, use custom button style because you want to make changes so here now you can button text size you can actually change the size you can see it then you can also change the button text color yeah so once you've done that you can take your time and go through the rest of this so when you have done with that you click on uh, you you click that button and then you come and save so that is it i think uh, for for this video not to be too long uh, let us leave this slider section at least we have made our point here so let's move over to the next section so let's look at our sample website now we want to create this second section what we do is just like our services so what you what we'll have there we'll create a section and then start putting these things in place so let's move on this is our where we are editing from so what you do is to add a new section so add new section yes this time around we don't need full width unlike what we did before so we choose a regular section so in the regular section uh, let us uh, then we'll add we'll insert a row so the main thing that we want to do okay let me come over here just look here we have two rows here this row is having uh, is having a text here then this one has a, a row that is having four blocks so let's let's go back so let's take this one first this is a single row then we'll add the the model the model we are using first is a text model so select a text model and the text says what we do so let's just do that quickly uh, what we do you can say services but i just want to call it what we do so here now you can change the the format of the text i want it to be heading text so that it can be very bold i want to align it center then i also want to make it bold you can see it bold so what are that thing okay the background color for the text i want to choose a background i want to choose a background so the background color I want to choose oh background color not image okay so let's say I want to choose this background color yeah so that is okay with us then let's move ahead for the text now the text I want to choose a text color so you you go to text under design you click on text then text uh, color let me look at the color so I may want let me choose a white color of text. Okay, so I choose white. It is not affecting why. I hope I'm on course. Okay, let's take it again. Let's this is text. Then uh, what do we want to do? Okay sorry uh yeah this is our text we have something that overrides this color that's why it's not affecting so we have text color here yes which is dark so we're gonna choose light yeah so it will allow the white to be affected then the other thing we want to do we want to put a padding so that the text will not be so close to the edge of the of this uh, stuff here so what we'll do is this so i'll go to spacing okay then you see custom padding 
so i want to put padding at the top look at it at the top so this is top i'm gonna add make some you can see it's increasing so yeah so i think this is good you can choose any value of your choice so yeah that is okay so we're gonna accept this so we've gotten this the next thing we'll do we'll still add a another row we'll add another row this time around the row will have uh, it will have four areas like this then we are, what model are we going to use i want us to use a model called blob 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 will allow you to add both text and image and if you look at the sample site we are working we are working with there is image here and there is text so that is why we are choosing blob okay let me drag this so that we can see where we are working on okay so this is it uh, let's start by adding the image let's go to the image the area where we'll add the image so um okay so we can delete the image that was there before and then we'll click on add image so let's go and upload the image you upload the image uh we have a small laptop there is it here okay let me go back i think it will be somewhere okay this is it so i open this it is loading okay it is loading it is loading just wait a little it's loading it's taking some time let's be patient let's be patient um okay why we are waiting for it let's look over here we have this text we have this text okay what we're gonna do we have a demo uh, under ICT solution we already have the text we can copy so this is IT solution let's just copy the text so I've copied it now let's check if it is ready okay it is ready so upload an image so we've uploaded it that's good the next thing we'll do is to go back to the text area and put the text so we'll put the text there control v okay so then this uh, it solution is our title so we we'll remove it from here we'll take this one up then we'll look for our title text area your title goes in here so we'll put it solution here that's good so we can just uh, we can make this to be we can justify this text then for the header text we are going to align its center so let's come to design you see your title text the title text is what i call the header text so it's title text so what you do um let's align it first where is the alignment um where is it title okay yeah this is it we align it center then what other thing let me see what we have here okay that is relatively that the text color is dark so we'll still leave it as dark then we can make it bold so we can make it bold okay so i think that is good enough then the other thing we may want to do like what we have here is that it has border so we can quickly put a border here so what we do we come to sorry okay we look for 
we'll look for border okay yeah this is border so border just mean having a line a kind of line cover the the entire area so you need to give it a number for the border to show so the border width initially is zero so we can make it one okay let's choose one okay then uh, i think that is okay so um that is that so if we are okay with this i think we can move forward let's see what is here okay we are supposed to add a little padding so that it won't be so close to the border so but uh, maybe we'll leave that for now we'll leave that for now so we take this so we are good to go now having done this we can actually we will do similar thing to the remaining three but instead of wasting time on that what we'll quickly do is to we'll just copy we'll duplicate this so what we'll do is this uh, this model if you i told you earlier that if you click on this that is to duplicate so we'll click on it uh, two more times so that we have the whole number so we've duplicated them after duplicating you now drag you drag and put here you drag this you drag this okay we are good to go so what we'll do we'll just make the changes here so we'll start with this let's uh, rem change the we we'll change the image of this to solar panel this one is a uh, cctv and this is a uh, training so let's go back here so we edit this we edit this let's go to the image that's the background image yes so we are here in the background image sorry not background image we are here in image and icon so we we'll delete this one that was there then we select to add a new image this is the image we have we can use this or so look for another one let's use this to save our time so we have this already then uh, what again we we'll now move over to the text and change the right top so let's come over and copy the text for solar so we'll copy the text for solar okay we we'll paste it here ctrl v so we'll copy this sorry we'll remove this and take this up okay so we'll go and put our title text which is this okay we are good to go we accept this now we we'll move to the next one the next one is for cctv so we we'll move over to the image and icon yes here so we we'll delete what was there and uh, we we'll look for camera is not here let's look at my images and pick up camera there we may use this i hope this will be the size will just be appropriate so it's loading it's loading okay so we we'll take this so then the next thing is to get the text have we done that let me see uh no okay so we'll go over to the text this is it so this one we we'll delete this let's copy the dummy text so we'll copy this and then we are here 
So paste it here, control V. Then we we'll remove this. Okay. So we are good to go. We are almost good to go. Okay, so we are done with this. We accept it. Okay, now the last one is uh, what? We also click on the gray icon. So let's see the dummy text here. The dummy text is for training. Okay. This is training copy. Okay. So what is the picture here? Training and then we have picture of people undergoing training. So let me quickly type training here. Okay. Now let's quickly put this here and uh, we can delete this then we take this up okay so let's quickly go to the image image and icon okay trash this and add your new image so let's upload you click on upload file select file uh, then what's next okay we are looking for training where is training picture here okay even if it is this we can pick up this okay so it's loading it's loading so we are almost done with that section so once it's loaded we'll pick it up okay so we upload the image and we say this okay even though there's a little misalignment here but let's let's move on okay so let's look at what we have here we can see that uh, i think the background image here is a bit darker it's not pure plain white so what we'll do is this we're just gonna edit we'll come to this section and then change the background color so this is this section click on the gray icon background so for background color we'll take something like this yeah this is transparency you can make it a bit more transparent if it is totally transparent it will be white so but we'll take it something like this i think this is good so we accept this okay we are done with this section so what's the next one we have the next one we have this this is uh, another section who we are this and that okay so let's create that section quickly let's create it quickly so i will add a new section add a new section regular section uh oh let me see this section is having two two divisions so we'll have two divisions here so uh let, let's choose this because this is smaller than this okay so we have two divisions now in the first division what do we have there we have image which is a flyer so let me just pick up image yeah so without wasting time we can just upload the flyer there i have it in my system here so where is it is it under pictures i have okay yeah this is the down flyer so i pick it up pick it up okay So I click upload an image, upload an image, okay. So I'm literally done with that. So the image is there. Then for this one, we this division, we, we are going to add a, a text model. We are going to add the text model. 
so we add the text module so what is the text we have here let's just copy it okay i think we have it in my demo text uh who we are so i just copy the whole of this up to here so i copy this okay so having copied it i'm moving over where um okay i'm coming over here just paste it here okay so this is it we can make it bolder if necessary so so this is it we can click on design and work on the text so regular text size okay so we can make it a big a bit bigger so you can choose any size of your choice oh this looks too big but all the same let's move on then the other important thing is the background color is dark so that's for the section so take note of the difference between section and row and then row and module so we're applying this color on the section so background color for the section is totally black so yeah it's okay so what we'll just do is to now make this text to be very white so that it can be visible it can be visible so i come to design i come to text so text text color yes you choose uh, lights okay so i think we are good to go so the other important thing is to put the heading who we are that is this this says who we are so what we are going to do right now is to duplicate this we don't have to reinvent the uh, so the wheel so just duplicate this yeah and then you drag it down and then just change the right top okay so we are there so we'll just change this to who we are who we are who we are it's equivalent to about us okay so now that we are done with this what's the next one uh, i'm afraid the video will be getting much longer much long why choose us but it's worth spending your data for on because this is you are just learning how to create website from a to z so let's go over to the next section why choose us so we create a new section here okay let me just save this it's good you save especially if you are not sure of your the power of your laptop so that it won't trip off and you lose all you've done okay regular okay so what do we have let's see what we have we'll not do this one now we'll just duplicate so this is what we are focusing on so we have four divisions inside here so we're gonna pick something that has four this is four okay and we are gonna pick blob because blob supports both image and text okay so this is the first one so and you know okay let me close this first you know this place this uh, section is saying why should you choose us that's you are telling your customers why they should buy from you why they should choose you 
so let me duplicate this quickly okay so I drag this here okay so let's edit this quickly um, no, where is the text I hope I'm in the right place let me close this and do it again yes okay yeah why choose us why choose us okay so if you look at this place this in this site I said why you should choose us because we are of our professional work our great ideas fast delivery moderate pricing so let's uh, let's start doing that so we edit this so we'll come over to okay let's copy the dummy text professional work copy okay control V then the next one is okay this other text where are you up to here copy control V okay then we come over to image and icon uh, this time around we are going to use icon we are not using image you know for image we upload image from our from our systems but here we are going to choose one of the icons here so i hope i can see easily the icon that was used there else i'll use any other one okay so let's use this so this is good i think this is good so why choose us professional work so let's look at this i think this is dark oh it's not exactly the same thing but we'll leave it so professional works will so let's quickly edit the text because we are going to duplicate so we have title text uh, default font i don't want to change the font actually you can choose any font of your of your choice i want to make it bold yeah that's my interest and i want to align it center where is alignment center yes so i think that is good enough the other thing is uh, i might put border okay so let me make put border here i'm sure by now you are familiar with border uh -huh then the other thing i said in the other in the last the uh, the one of the sections where we had border you discovered that i didn't put padding so this time around let's try uh, inserting padding here so what i mean by padding uh, let's go to spacing yes yeah, spacing so custom padding so we're going to put padding by the left and right so that we can have some space between the text and the border so where is left this is left so yeah you can see it shifting i have eight there then this is right i also have some left and where am i okay this is uh yeah i need that okay yeah so i think it is okay you can choose any value of your choice so i think we are good to go this is good enough so what we'll do quickly is to duplicate this you click on the du uh, duplicate button and then duplicate three times one two three then what do you do next you just drag I hope uh, what did I duplicate I hope I duplicated the right thing sorry it's like I have made a mistake let me see what I duplicated 
it's like I duplicated row instead of models so I'm gonna delete them so you should know the difference between duplicating row and model so I've made a mistake okay I think I'm back to to order so what I need to duplicate is this this is row not I mean this is model not this I made a mistake and duplicated the row so I click on this one two three so I can now drag them here one by one two then the third one is here okay so uh, I will now edit this let me edit this what do I have in the demo text after professional work I have a great idea the one that has the symbol of lamp or bulb okay so great idea control V then you are gonna change control X then we have this great ideas yeah so the next thing is to change the the image icon okay I think I have a lamp here let me look closely to get a lamp a lamp a lamp Where is my lamp here? I missed it. Let me go over again. Lamp, lamp. Okay, I've seen it. Yeah, good. So I have this. Select this. Okay, so the next one is what? I work on this. This appear to be touching the border, so I can actually do border top. That's add pad the top. I will add bad, uh, padding to the top, and it won't be touching it again. So you can do that on your own. Fast delivery, fast delivery. I copy this and uh, come over here. Control A V fast delivery control X okay control V was the image icon okay I hope I'll see this quickly 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 so image icon or I'll choose something close to that fast delivery so you should choose icon that reflects what you are talking about so that's the essence of the icon something that reflects delivery of or speed um, okay this is it here yeah? so yeah i'm okay with this you can see we really need uh, padding at the top okay let's move over here the last one is what i have a moderate pricing okay that will use dollar sign okay so i have this Control X Moderate pricing, yes. So um okay, I go to the icon. 
can I see dollar sign here or cash sign? I'm looking for dollar sign here. Can I see it quickly, quickly, quickly? Um, this is gift sign. Uh, is this is this dollar? No. So if we can't see it quickly, we'll pick up something and save our time. So let's go with that. Let's go with this moderate pricing okay so i think uh, we are good to go we are good to go what's the next thing we have here so after this we now have the footer yeah so we are almost done we are almost done with the home page okay let's save and ref uh, and preview all we've done so far okay let us preview what we've done so far refresh wow this is wonderful it's still loading because i can't see my images here so it's loading anyway yeah this is good this is still coming up okay so why it is still loading yeah they are up they are up that's good that's wonderful now let's look at the last part of this home page which we call footer so we are going to work on this area now you can still refer back to the the site we were use that we are using as an example we have the footer well arranged like this we have designed by this and all that so we are going to make our own to look exactly like this so let's get down there so for us to work on the footer we call this area footer that's the last part of the of the home page of the of the of the web page so for us to work on this area what we'll do we'll go back to the dashboard so go click on your dashboard then there is something we call widgets there is something we call widgets you go to appearance and you click on widgets so widgets are tools or content that you can add you can arrange you can you can remove you know from your sidebar or from your footer so these are you know website i mean uh, wordpress uses widgets so in other words you can say that widgets are block of content that you can add to or remove from your site from your website and it's usually on the sidebar and on the footer so all these uh, widgets are pieces of like I said they are blocks of content or pieces of content which you can actually add to make the site rich or you can remove as you may wish so what we are going to do is this if you look at our site here let's go down again to the footer so you can see there is archive there is category there is meta all these are widgets so what we'll do first of all is to remove all the widgets then we'll now put the ones that we want so what you do is this these ones by your by your right hand side are the ones already on your site which you can remove then the ones on your left hand side are the ones you can add up you can bring up to the site you can also uh, install some plugins that that have uh, widgets that will give you more widgets if, if you need things that are more than what you have here so let's move on quickly so the the this down area i've told you before it is called footer so we have footer area one to six here so there are six so the the one you see footer area one 
so it has these three widgets that we're having in our website look at it you see the three of them archive category meta so they are in footer area one so what we'll do quickly is to remove them just drag them to your left hand side and they will go drag this way drag this way they are gone so what you just do now is to bring in the ones you want so in our sample website we need contact we need search we need pages we need the recent post or tutorials so how do we bring them in first of all for the for the contact what we're actually going to bring in is a text widget that will enable us to to write text so you search for text widget look at it here drag it drag it into footer area one so we're going to start with footer area one so what is the content there let's just go to our demo site and copy this thing so we won't waste time i copy this so i paste here okay let me close the gaps okay so this is my title i remove it from here close up this okay i have this okay so this is what i have uh, as my contact contact us i put this address here so what you do just put it and save after saving you are done with this very one so the next one footer area two i want to use four footer areas to place these four things so recall that the second one is a search so I'm going to go here and look for search widget. I'll look for search widget. Where is it? Here, I've seen it. So I'll drag it, drag the search widget and put it in footer area 2. Yeah. So that is search widget. There's no... Okay, if we want, let's just say uh, search... for let's just say search for any information on this website let's call it that i hope this will not be too long let's just say search of course there is search already so let's leave it search is okay we save so now the next one after search is what uh, we have uh, and from the sample side we have pages and recent posts so we'll come over here we'll look for uh, pages i think there is pages on the on okay yeah this one will display all the pages that your website has that's all your web pages so let's put it in uh, in footer area three so that is pages I, I won't want to put any title or anything so it will display all my pages okay then the last one is uh, what what did we call a recent post so on your blog when we create our blog any post we have there will be displayed on this area recent post in this area rather so number four recent post so i think that is okay so when we are done the make sure everything is saved then we go and refresh our main site so look at what it it was having then let's refresh and see the changes okay good so now you can see we have we've done this so the only part remaining on the footer which we are still gonna do is this credit designed by elegant team powered by wordpress because we bought this this is a premium team it's not a free team we have right to change this so we'll do that later now for us to move ahead let's quickly uh we'll quickly go back to the okay this is our back end so what we'll do let's go back to the uh to our home okay where are we going where are we going 
okay now let's move on so what we are going to do is this let's go to dv then on that dv we we'll say team uh team option so let's go to team option first so now we are in team option okay let's just follow this maybe sequentially so we have logo let's upload our logo so click on upload here then you select logo of your choice this is my logo i've added it here before now but you you can as well upload your whatever you want to be your logo you upload it it will enter here then you set as logo so i'll set it as logo now take note see what we mean by logo like here because we are using dv this is the logo it came with dv so we want to change this logo let it be our own logo so by the time we refresh this it will be our own logo now having done that the other things that you will also need to do here uh okay you see this social media areas so this is a facebook okay i'll put my facebook page here which is already here then uh, so you can actually put your you go to i actually copied this from my facebook page so you copy it and you come here and put it then you go to your twitter page copy the link the url and put there anyone you you okay just do that then the other part to it is this if there is any social media icon you want to enable you enable it from here so like here i have facebook enabled i can disable it i can enable it i have show twitter icon enable or disable it i have a show google plus so anyone i want i will enable them so once i am done with that for now let me come and save changes so you know i've enabled three things there so if i come here and i refresh so if we go to our footer we'll see those three social media stuff there is it done okay let's wait a little let's wait a little let's wait for it to load let's wait for it to finish loading okay yeah it has finished loading so let's go down you will see the three social media yeah, we have facebook twitter and uh, this and if you point to the facebook you will see my this thing that's the url by your left point at it by your extreme left you see the social media uh, url the facebook url so the next thing that is troubling us now we need to remove this and then put that this thing is designed by you and not by elegant team so what we're going to do let's go back to our this area then we we'll go to team uh, customizer so click on team customizer and because it is on the footer you know what we want to change now is still on the footer so we'll go to the footer actually you have header footer and many things here so we'll go to the footer yeah so we we'll go to the bottom bar because it's actually at the bottom so from the bottom bar there you can actually change the color many things but let's move straight to what we want let's move straight to what we want okay sorry we scroll from here so we now say edit okay you say disable footer credit if you disable footer credit that means you cannot make any change so i will enable it so that i can make the necessary changes so what do i do i'll say designed by uh, designed by the dom yeah designed by the dom so that's what i'm gonna put and if you see it is already affected here yeah? designed by the done so whatever things you want to do just do them there then a uh, social icon color you can actually change the color 
you can change the color assuming I make it white okay so whatever thing you want to social icon size font size and all that text color background color so the background color if I make it something light <coughs> excuse me sorry so you can see the text is no more showing so we'll go to the text color and make it white so it's showing back so this is what you do at least to to put the credit correctly that it is you that designed this work so just publish click on publish and then you come here and refresh so as you refresh you will see it is showing designed by the done and then the other one there okay now let's move ahead let's go back to the editing area so uh, let's leave the bottom bar okay we have the footer menu footer menu that's uh, <coughs> the footer menu what do we have there uh, okay footer menu actually we don't have any menu on the footer right now so we could have as well set menu on the footer let's leave this and move over to let's let's go to the let's go over to the heading first so let's go over to the heading so heading navigation now what are the areas that we're interested in we have header formats okay this one says enable vertical navigation let me explain to you what this means if you look at this navigation we were having okay this is small now you can't see it easily okay look here you can see the navigation is horizontal so if you click uh, enable vertical navigation what it will do is that it will okay let's publish it and see okay so if we refresh this you will see that our navigation is now vertical and it's on the left so if you want it to be like this you leave it but let me return it to the way it was before so i don't want a vertical navigation so if i publish then i'm done with that so then let's go back the other important one let's go to primary menu so under primary menu we have a hide logo image if you click on this it will hide your logo image but we may not want that then the other thing is menu height you can adjust the height ahead uh, this one is very important logo maximum height you can see it increasing if okay let's publish this and see the effect on the on the site so what is the effect let's see okay it's loading let's wait okay let me scroll up and see it clearly okay so uh, let's go back the effect is uh, it has to do with the, the the maximum height of the logo so normally i prefer my logo being small so that the the area will will also be small then your text size your menu text you can uh, not your menu text this is your you, the text on the header so you can actually adjust them you can adjust the text you can adjust the the spacing then you can also make changes on the color so as much as you want just uh, just make the necessary changes and after which you do publish after which you do publish then the other part that is very important to us is uh, this header element yes the header element 
you know it's this one is checked show search icon the search icon is already there that's this one so assuming we say show social media icon if we say this and we publish let's see the effect it will display our social media uh, icons on the on the header so you can see it it has another kind of layer where it showed this then also you have room to put your phone number assuming you have your phone number there so it will be there then if you also want to have your email there you put your email address so you can put your email address so once you've done this you click on publish you click on publish then let's preview and see the effect okay so you can see this so if you are comfortable with this you leave them if you don't want that you can make some changes uh, finally on this our menu uh, on this our header i want to change this color from white i want it to be a little gray so primary menu bar uh, where is the location for background color background color yeah this is background color i want to make it something gray so i hope it doesn't once i can see my text from there okay let me publish and preview so if, if you cannot see the right of okay i think it is clear enough so this is okay so at this point we are going to leave this home page so at your own time you can still make some more changes so let's go over to let's look at our sample uh, website so on the sample website we have contact page so let me open the contact page so that we'll see what we are going to do on our own contact page so this is the contact page uh, yeah this is the contact page you have this right up here so i just want to show you how you can create your own contact page so let's close this we'll click on here then let's go to pages and say uh, all pages here then we we'll go to contact page this contact click on it so use dv edit with dv okay so this is our contact page it is loading so let's see quickly what we'll do what is important to us is just to put the form put the the address so let's wait while it is loading though from the sample we have here what was used here is also uh, this is a full width image a kind of full width slider but they have one image here and then other things followed so let's do exactly the same start building okay we'll still discard this and quickly i'm sure you are familiar with this now full width so uh, let's just say image full width image sure so uh, quickly let's pick up the image uh, where is the image we have here yeah let's just pick up this we have to rush so that this video the, this tutorial will not be too long too long then the other thing we need to do let's check out the text uh, where is it okay there is no text on image alone no. okay so would have choose would have chosen full width slider so that we can add text so but let's leave it so you already know you can choose a full width slider so that you can add text but on the image there is no space for for text in image so let's leave it that way now we are done with this then we'll still come up here and delete 
this slide i mean this section we have deleted it now let's add a new section so in this new section we'll use regular we'll use the regular option remember this is what we are looking at where is our contact page this is the sample contact page we are looking at so if you look at this this is a uh, okay what we'll do we'll just have two divisions so come back to our work here we'll take two divisions this might be smaller yeah so what we are for the first part we'll just use text so we we'll use the text okay so for the text let's go to our our demo text do i have demo text for contact okay i think it's the same thing as this so uh, let me go over here control this paste so meanwhile let me see what is here visitor sat okay let me just copy this and put the copy so we are here so visitors are so so place so i think that is enough for us so we we'll just say okay so let's scroll down so this is this meanwhile this uh, we can actually put a border here to make it more distinct so if we want to add border here we did the row we'll look for border yeah this is border just change the number to one one is just enough for us so change this this is one so we have border and you know we we'll need to have padding also so we'll go to what where do we you still remember what we did previously we'll go to spacing then under spacing we we'll look for left padding this padding left where is left so we increase it to give space yeah so that is it so the the next thing we'll do is to add the the we, we insert the module that will hold our form so dv has a, a form module so what we are going to do we we'll just say contact form yes this is contact form so dv has uh, already made the uh, contact form so we we'll just click on this and the form will be displayed here so this is our contact form our contact page then uh, what other write-up do we have here let me just copy what is here so with this one we can use it a, a text module to insert this yes so what we'll do is to we'll create a, we'll insert a row so we insert a row here and then insert a text module so with this we just uh, put our text so yeah then we lift this quickly we just uh, drag this and move it up here we'll move it up here okay feel free to visit us at so so place so that is it we are done with the contact form yeah we are done with the contact form then the other important so let me just uh, save and we'll preview it remember this is our site okay there is something okay so let's go to contact contact us so you can see this is our contact page and this is the contact form okay then i remember there is something i forgot before we left the the home page something i forgot there's something we call favicon yeah favicon is uh, where you add a kind of image like what what you see me pointing at you can put a small image like this like you see facebook is having f here uh, google is having g here then my this one is having this so let's quickly let me quickly show you how you insert that 
so we we'll still go back to our dashboard so after that we'll now go to the video page we'll go to our dashboard dv team customizer team customizer it's opening here yeah, general setting general setting site identity this has your name that's your site name the done school you can put any name tagline you can put any you can tag it anything so but the important one to me is this one site icon so select site icon so let me use my logo as my site icon you select it and you say oh crop no i don't want to crop skip cropping so i've done that just save and publish so once you do that then you refresh this you can see it has affected so you now have your site icon it's also called a favicon okay so having done that let's quickly exit here okay let's close this and then i hope it affected before i'm leaving there uh oh if it hasn't that means i'm going back okay it has affected okay so let me move quickly to pages let me move quickly to pages so where is my video page so i want to show you how to insert video on your website so let's click on video page <coughs> so use DV. yes edit with DV. so normally if you want to have a video on your website first of all you need to create a youtube channel where you upload your your videos on youtube free of charge that will help you to solve bandwidth problem because if you upload videos all your videos on your website your website may not have enough space and it might be dragging if, you, if it will be taking so much time to load so what you do is just upload your videos to your youtube channel and then you can now come over here and uh, and do what i'm gonna be doing now for your videos to also be on your website so start building you are familiar with this let's click on this so i will choose a video so dv has all the modules for everything you want to do so i select video meanwhile i'm going to go to my youtube channel so let me go to my youtube channel let me search for my name um, okay so I just want to get some videos from my channel okay so let me say uh, which one creating WordPress offline okay let me just I mean installing WordPress offline so when you open your YouTube channel what do you do click on share you click on share then you will see this link hello welcome so to my youtube channel click on copy in this tutorial i'll be teaching so you how to install wordpress offline so that it will stop disturbing us so you just copy the link then go back to your website that you are working on so you delete this thing that was here then you now add video instead of uploading video what you will click click on insert from url so you place your url here Control v and then you insert so that is it you just insert and then you pick up this so this is okay so this is uh, what you have so you can see that on this uh, page that you can see your video here so and you can play the video even from your website hello welcome to my youtube so channel you can see it. in this tutorial let's stop it then the next thing we'll do quickly let's also insert some more videos so we insert a new role add new role let's have like a three yeah so was we'll put a video here 
so video delete this yeah add video so i'm going to also insert url so let me pick another video from my channel and get the url uh, where are my videos how to create a youtube channel let me quickly pick this one share it's loading let's okay copy 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 okay i've copied it quickly close let me get another one so while okay so we'll come over here and paste it immediately and then insert you insert so it is entering there at the same time i click on this still video you know i can duplicate so but anyone that will be faster you take that option so i'm here i said delete this then insert from url so which other video am i picking from here okay i have uh, i'm careful to use my video don't use someone else's video so i have this share i copy this so i move over here hello welcome to this video on so how I to program this. with assembly language in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can so use mid this now the last one the very last one i still have video language. Now let's get started. Click on this. The MID51 Studio. The first thing is that you install it in your system. So for me, I have it installed. Add here. video. You can see it on the insert the from URL. So insert from URL. Click so I move it. over here when to search for my this video is the interface again. You're gonna see. Let me get another video. I have a creating circuits. Okay, this is another video. So quickly, where is it? Oh, let me go back something went wrong okay yeah so share remember to click on share then you copy the link yeah you copy so now I go back here and I paste this here control V so once you've done that so you do this so I think I'm done with this stuff. Okay. So now I've succeeded in adding four videos on this page. So you're actually supposed to ins to add all your videos, all the videos you've done, put them on your page. Then the next thing I may want to do, I don't like this white background. So let me edit it. That's my section. I will change the section background. I'm looking at something black, totally black. How will it be? Okay. So I think this is good for me. You can choose any color of your choice. So at the end, you save. So having saved, you can now go to your home page and you refresh. You can go to your home page. I mean you can go to your main site and refresh so I refresh then let me visit my videos uh, page my video page is loading oh sorry this is no this is our site I, I was clicking on the sample one we used please so this is our main site please so I refresh it. That is school. School is our main site place. So I refresh and go to videos. Uh, you know, we've not fixed in anything here. So I go to videos. Okay. So on videos, let's see what we inserted. Yes, this is what we have on our video page. The background is black then we have these videos 
so and you can play any of these videos from here i'm telling you the truth so look at it it will play from here once you are connected to the internet it will play hello okay. welcome to this video so this is how you create your video page in so this let video me stop I'm going to be showing you let me stop it now we are about done being okay with this website but uh, let me also show you how you can create your services page we'll just do a few things there and we'll stop so let's go back to our dashboard we'll go back to our dashboard you go to pages all pages then we'll go to services where is it services yeah so here are we on services so use dv we want to use dv here edit with dv builder okay so now this is the sample website we're using let's look at the their services page this is their services page so you can see what they have here so i want us to do something similar to this we may just do three sections and we stop so let's do that now this is our own services page nothing is there we say start building because we want a full width slider or a full width image so let's leave this we'll come over here add section full width let's just say full width slider so that we'll be able to write on it full width uh, slider okay so let's delete this we just need one so let's use this and then we add an image and uh, quickly background image so let's just pick an image okay i'm seeing what is on the other page okay this is the image so let's pick up this upload this image okay we are there but we're gonna delete all this uh, text where are the text okay we'll go over to text okay what i mean let's go let's see the text okay text for this so we click on this so your title goes here we just put a uh, uh, services yes services then we can delete the other pages the other text so we're not interested in this now so for the services which is our heading text we can change the we can make it to be what to be that's the title text we can make it to be bolder default font let's use the default font the font width let's make it bold yeah i think that is okay so you can actually play around this at your own time so let's take only this let's take only this so this is services page then we will delete this first section we'll delete it okay now the next thing we'll do quickly let's add a new section regular this let's put this so uh, what do we need there let's use text so we're using text so this text will just have let's look at our sample site so our sample site just has a uh, solar and inverters let's just copy and paste so this is where we are we 
just make it this control V then align it center and let's make it heading one let's make it heading one heading one yes then uh, okay the background color we can also make it uh, this golden color then uh, the text color the heading text we can make the text color to be where is it to be white we can make the text color white okay then we can make it to be bold regular bold okay so let's save this okay the next thing we'll do right now is to add a new row so that we can add the content for for the solar and inverter uh, which kind of row do we choose let's choose this let's choose this two in one the first one we have our image so let's call it image so let's insert an image model yes image model so we'll look for an image for solar image of solar panel so we can actually choose any one uh, though we've used this let's quickly upload something another solar panel we've not used uh, web pics website pics big should I choose big or oh, let me go back so okay let me open here let me just pick any solar panel here okay so let's take this solar panel we upload is uploading uploading it's uploading just wait just be a bit patient it's uploading ha ah, please be fast be fast be fast it's uploading let's just be patient let's just see our sample site you know this is what we want to insert we insert this then we'll put some text here so let's see if it is ready um it's taking time okay let's take it again it's like something went wrong okay so quickly quickly solar panel we pick up this yes okay he said it failed in fact to save our time let's pick this solar panel that is here and move on upload an image so we have this as our image we say okay now the next module the next uh, part of the row will add the text module we add the text module so we just copy the text from there and paste control v yeah so we have this this is our solar panel uh, this is under our services we are into solar and inverter stuff now what we we'll do we'll go to other services that we render that we offer what i think we should do okay um okay let's just duplicate this one let's duplicate this row so that we we'll use it for the next one which is a uh, cctv so we'll go down yes okay here no it's like we where are we it's like we copied the module and not the row so let me quickly okay you see we copied the module not the row 
So let's duplicate again. It's good we make some mistakes so that you also learn yourself. So we are copying the row, not the module. Okay, yeah. So this is this. So we'll change this one quickly. We edit it to CCTV slash uh, camera, whatever you want. You write there. Okay, what did we have? Yes, okay, security camera. Okay, let's add it there. Security camera. So that's part of our service services. So we accept it. Where are we? Well, let's do it again, please. Edit this. Edit the model. Okay we're making mistakes so cctv slash security camera okay so we accept this then in the same vein we need the the, the picture we can also duplicate this uh, this row let's duplicate it i think it will save us time that's one of the good things about dv so you can duplicate and save your time okay you duplicate you arrange properly yes so we just change this to cctv so we edit this model delete this and add the cctv let's pick this upload an image okay then the next thing we just copy the right up here let's copy it and put there so come over here you click on the gray icon so you paste here yes so we've done this so we are done with this let's just add one more let's add one more in the same vein we can still duplicate let's duplicate this again so we duplicate this then let's duplicate this also where is it make sure you duplicate the the row not the mod not the module so we duplicate the row and we drag the row we copy we drag it to the appropriate place it's supposed to be here yes so what did we call the next one uh, in my sample site i called it electrical installation okay let me just put that so i'm gonna edit this to electrical installation so i edit the module here electrical sorry installation okay so i'll need to copy the the text i'll copy the text and come here and paste so remember i will click on the gray icon i will select this and paste the new text then i'll need to change the the what i'll change the image so i come here go to setting i'll delete this so let me pick up an image from here let me upload i'll look for an image that reflects electrical work uh, did I see anyone here? Let me go back. <laughs> Electrical work. Anyone I see, I will just pick. Okay, this like no, not this. This. So let's just pick any any image we have that reflect electrical work. Oh, I'm not really seeing any here. Okay, let me come back here. 
Let me pick this one that look like oscilloscope or a meter. So we we'll pick up that image post process image failed likely because the server is too busy. I'm having problem with uploading as we used to do. Um, what is the problem? So what we we'll do? Can we get something that look like electrical? In fact, let's just pick this. Because I don't want to... Re okay, let me refresh this. So since we are having problem with uh, uploading stuff, let me save what we have done so far. Then we'll close and reload. I think it should behave well then. Okay, that will also show you how to reload your back end. So I'm going to close it now. So remember the name. It is a uh, school. So what I'll do, I'll go to localhost slash school slash wp dash admin. Okay. Yeah, it has loaded. So we'll go back to where? To pages. All pages. Then services. We'll go to services. Even though this is taking us time, but we we'll just have to do it. It's part of the training. It's part of the training and I do hope you'll be better off for it. Okay, it's opening. It is opening. Okay, we are back to services. Now let's go to what? Okay, let's come back here. Oh, the model here is okay. Yeah, well, we're trying to. Yeah, this is the model. So we'll go to the image. So let's try uploading now. I think it should behave well. Um, uploading. What are we uploading? Um, I wanted to get an electrical related image. But if I can't see one now, we'll just move on. We'll just pick anything and move on. Um, okay, saved picture. Nothing is there. So let's move on. Let's just pick something here. And we, we'll, we'll move on. So assuming we pick this one, let's just pick that. It has an electrical bulb there. So it's loading. Let's hold on. It's loading. It's loading. I hope it is okay now. Okay, good. So you can see that when your server is having issue loading, you can just... Uh, you can just restart and everything will be okay. So yeah, this is it for electrical installation. So this is our services page. We may just stop here. Yeah. So you can add as much services as you offer. But let's uh, work on the, the this section. So let's just, it, the, the background, let's make it a bit dark. The background color. So make it a bit gray, something like this. You can see, I think this is good. Then you can make it transparent. You drag this thing down. It is 100% transparent. It becomes white, but we'll go back a little. I think this is good enough. So we we'll save this. So what we we'll do, Control S. So congratulations. At least you have learned how to create website using DV. Let me refresh so that we can navigate through what we... Sorry, this is our site here. Okay, yes, this is a school. Okay. So we refresh our school site. Yes.
this is our video page so let's just navigate through some of the pages we created this is the home page you can see how beautiful it is yes then this is our services page which is the last one we just created these are services yes yes that's cool then this is a publication we have book we have paper lecture we have uh, this we have video and we have our contact page so that is good then finally I want to do something before we close so let's go back to home if you look at the home here we said uh, what we do we have this stuff we can actually connect this to our services page so that this is a highlight of what you do so you can connect this so that when people click on it it takes them to the services page and at your own time you should cool down and populate your services page properly so that you have enough uh, information there so what we we'll do let's go back to uh, our dashboard and go back to the home page this is our pages where is home this is our home page quickly 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 let's go to the home page yes use DV edit with DV builder okay meanwhile let us copy the link for the services page where is it this is services so let's copy this is the URL the link for it so we have copied it so you come over here so see what I want us to do when we come to this uh, this module there is what we call link you will see link link here yes link means uh, title link URL that's this title text if you click on it where should it take you take me to services page then title link target that is should it open in the same window or in a different window let's select different window so that you know how it is then module link URL that's the whole module so you put in this you can still paste it there so so having done that i click on this and i save i can actually do that for the rest of them so at your own time do it so what we'll do is that we'll refresh our services page we'll refresh our website and go to home page we'll go to home page yeah so this is our home page so what i've done is that when you click here so if someone is on your home page he wants to get more information about it solution for example you click it takes the person to where to the services page so i want to thank you very much for watching we still have many other videos on web uh, website creation using a uh, dv so I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel and you will be getting a whole lot of videos that we're making. Thank you very much. You can share this with your friends, share with your students, let them learn how to create websites.